Hey guys, Michael Gillis with the Gillis team. And today I've got something special. I'm here at 29 Hempstead in Augustine North, and I'm gonna give you a quick walk around, show you what we've got here at this house. First, I wanna show you the street here. So this is in the newest section of Augustine. Lots are bigger, everything is spread apart, and so you're still right in the heart of everything, right off Courthouse Road, which was newly expanded, but you're tucked back here, far away from everything. Now, this house is seven bedrooms, five and a half baths, it's over 7,000 square feet, and it's just awesome. So, you can see full brick front with a huge porch here and then landscaping is perfect you've got this stamped concrete walkway that takes you around to the side and something special back there too that I'll show you once once we hit the backyard which is huge but just look at that We've got seven tenths of an acre here. Everything back here in this section of the neighborhood is similar. We're going to come up here on the front porch. And it's huge. So you've got this beautiful window that goes into the dining room. You've got this whole other side of the porch over here. So right here in Augustine, that's your view from your front porch. It's amazing. All right, let's go inside. The ring doorbell. So I don't know if you can see it. This has a huge inviting double door, which you just don't see that often anymore. And we come in here into the foyer. There's all of our safety stuff ready to go. Um, so huge two-story foyer, wood floors, and got wood on the uh, on the stairs there. And it's really cool because you've got these doors, these lighted doors that go into these formal rooms. So you can close them off depending on what you're doing, but keeps everything really open. So you can see that's a baby grand and there's all this room, all this open area in the living room. And then you got columns that go into this massive, massive dining room. I don't even know that the camera is gonna do it justice here, but uh, but it's huge. It looks out over the deck there and the backyard I'm going to show you. So you've got a full main level office here. So especially for those of you that are working from home like we are, it's nice to have a dedicated office and again we'll see if I can see if I can show you. That's your view right here on the corner lot. Everything is just wide open. And again, got a door that closes that off. And then have one of the seven bedrooms here on the main level. You got this huge bay window that looks out to the rear. And it's perfect whether you've got a large family or if you've got relatives that come stay, especially if, uh, uh, if they don't do stairs very well, you can see that they've got this set up with the grab bars right up here, ready to go. But an awesome main level bedroom here, full size shower with grab bars in the shower also, and tile floors. And then you've got big 
walk-in closet. So this is the type of bedroom where you can have someone come stay or someone, I mean, this is where someone could live. It's, it's a really big bedroom. That walk-in closet gives you a ton of extra room there. All right, so let's go into the heart of the house here. So the kitchen, that is a massive island. You can see the wine rack on the end there, the double wine rack. Um, and we've got what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stools that go around this island. So again, whether, whether you've got a large family or if you like to have people over, I think we're gonna see a lot of entertaining happen once everything chills out with the virus and everything going on, but it's just huge. You know, think about what you can do in this kitchen. And you've got a pass through there that goes into the sunroom, the cathedral ceiling. I'll walk back there and show you in just a second. But if you look at the, just the scale of this kitchen, try to give you as many angles as I can. And if you like to cook, that thing is awesome. Huge five burner. I don't know if that's a 42 inch cooktop, but that's awesome. There's your eat-in area, wide open into the family room, which is, again, I, I just don't know that if, if my video is gonna, is gonna quite show how big it is. But you've got a couple of steps down. So the ceilings are extra tall and you can see that with that, with that, um, fireplace there with the stone to the ceiling and these are two full-size couches and I've probably got 10 or 12 feet behind them where I can walk and then you've got that lighted door that goes out into the sunroom so there's just so much space and let's see here's our sunroom there's our door to the family room. Again, it's the same idea, keeping everything, keeping everything open, but the ability to, to shut it off when you need to. And then, I think we'll come out here in a, in a minute. Say hi, Pooch. All right, so, Walk you quickly over here into the laundry room, which is just amazing. So you've got a sink there, these cabinets for storage. You've got um, hanging area, and then another large walk-in coat closet right off the garage here. There we go. And then it is a full three car garage, which is great. There are three car garages in this community, but it's not a ton of them. And so finding one is really, really nice to do. All right, let's check out the upstairs. It's just so much to see in this house. So we've got our oak stairs here into the hallway, which is all oak here. I think I'll start in the master. So if I stand back here, you can see the tray ceiling and just, again, how much space you've got. So I'll walk over here, I'll turn around, I'll show you the sitting room in a second. But this is one of two closets and this is a king size bed and there's just so much room around it. Now going into the bathroom, so you've got this huge soaking tub here and then a massive shower 
all tiled to the ceiling. Two shower heads, double benches. Really, really cool. And then of course your double split vanities here. I'm running through the rest of the upstairs here. Here's one of the bedrooms. You can see how much room you have. There's a Jack and Jill bath through there. And then you see a theme here. Walk-in closets pretty much everywhere you go. And here's our Jack and Jill bath. So each side has its own vanity. And then it opens up into the shower area. And then here's the other side where we go into a little bit of extra storage there. We go into the third bedroom upstairs. And so again, dual closets there. And then across the hall here, where we've got another bedroom. And the cool thing about this one is that it's got this extra area here. They've got it set up as a sewing room, but this could be an extra closet. This could be an extra home office. I know a lot of people need a second home office these days. This would be great for that. Again, double closets. And this is the other Jack and Jill bath. You can see the tile floors. The layout's a little bit different, but you've still got, let's see. Turn the light on there. So you've still got that custom tile in there. And then the dual vanity. So super functional, tons of bedrooms and bathrooms. Here's the last bedroom upstairs. Got a large closet there, access to the bath. All right, we're gonna go Back down the stairs, got to show you the basement. So as we go down here, I'm going to go into the big rec room first. So this is a whole, I mean, this could be a whole second living area. So we've got all of this space, you got your game table. And then a bar, which once I show you what's outside, see how much how much use you get out of this, but but it's great. You've got a full fridge, you've got you've got a sink, tons of extra room. They're they're ready to party. And the other cool thing is you've got windows across this entire rear of the house. I'm gonna go out there in just a minute. And so another bathroom. And again, this, so we're in the basement here. So this connects both to the rec room area out there and out here to the hallway where we've got a den. This was sort of set up as a home office and then right back here, like I said, there's windows across the entire back of the house. So this is a basement bedroom. Doesn't look like it, but you've got full windows all the way down. That's a little preview of what, what we're gonna go check out in a second. 
big double door closet there. We just passed that den again and this area is unfinished. It's huge. It's, it's the size of that family room we saw upstairs. They use it as a workout area, but again, full windows across the back. The entire rear walks out. And then, like I said, this could be a whole second living area and it's set up with washer dryer hookups down here. So you could finish this if you need it. You'd use it as a workout area like they did. All right, now to the backyard. Might be my favorite part. All right, so this is my favorite part. So we've got the deck above us and this huge covered patio. I showed you guys before the stamped concrete that comes around the side. So when I came down those stairs, it's right here at this gate. We've got our walkway here. There's a garden shed. And then just check this out. The birds are even chirping for us. So you've got this amazing pool. It's probably 65 degrees right now, so we're probably another few weeks away from real pool weather, but we're getting close. And you've got stamped concrete going all the way around it the accents around here and then this is super cool so you've got an area back here to sit hang out it's covered get out of the sun if you need to especially on the really hot summer days and if I just take a seat right here I've got this great private area woods back behind me the pool doesn't take up a huge amount of the yard, which is what you see in a lot of cases. You've got all this extra yard, plenty of, uh, plenty of space to throw a ball, let the dogs run. It's great. There's the back of the house and the deck up there. So, I wouldn't mind hanging out here all summer. If you guys are interested, oh, windy. If you guys are interested, give us a call. Um, we like doing these walkthroughs because it, it lets us show a little bit more than we do with some of our more traditional walkthroughs. Let's us talk about the house, but there may be a nook or cranny somewhere that I didn't go through. So if you're interested, either we'll bring you here or call us and we'll do a virtual showing. We'll go through with you live, just like we did here. And even spend a little bit more time and show you everything you need to see. So give us a call.